Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Right here is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. I'm not here, I'm behind the camera. <laughs> we have no one behind the camera today. Oh. We are going to be playing a little game with this little friend here. We can't say her name, we're just gonna call her Dot for Dot. now. Because if we say her name, she goes crazy wacko. But she has a lot of amazing games and I have been working on memorization, things like that because of being on camera all the time, memorizing lines, things like that. Yeah. And I've really enjoyed the learning aspect of that. So we haven't had showers you... since that's why we're wearing hats. <laughs> yeah. That has made me very interested though in learning other things and I've been online learning. We've been stuck at home. We've had plenty of time on our hands. Another virus day. This guy thinks he's smarter than everyone all the time. And now I'm going to challenge him to a quiz, shall Let, we let's say. Do it. Let's get started. Are you ready? Where's the kitty? Where's the dog? On the couch. Okay. Ready? Begin. <laughs> Alexa, play Impossible Quiz Challenge. Okay, opening Impossible Quiz Challenge. What category would you like to play? You can say scientific names of animals, bones of the common dog, Let's or scientific animal. names of plants. Do you agree on animal? Animal? Okay. Do, you know, do you know scientific names of animals? I do. We're not gonna get one right. <laughs> Alexa, scientific names of animals. Okay, how many players? You can say one to four. Alexa, two players. Okay, player one, question one. I'll make it easy because I don't think you're very smart. <laughs> what is the scientific name for cat? <laughs> she doesn't think you're very smart. Cat? It's easy. It is. It's feel it. Feel it. It's easy. Um, Alexa, the answer for cat is Felis catus. Booyah, you're smarter than I thought. Player two, first question <laughs> What is the scientific name for sheep? I know this one. Alexa, the answer for sheep is. Bovide Ovis. Kapow, your pronunciation could use a little work, but that answer is correct. Player one, second question. What is the scientific name for lion? Easy peasy. <laughs> Panther. And an astrologer. Alexa, the answer for lion is Panthera Leo. Shebang, that is the correct answer. Amazing. Amazing. Player one, third question. What is the scientific name for horse? Alexa, the answer for horse is Piazza, you are much smarter than I would have thought, but there is no time. way you would get this one. Player one, third question. What is the scientific name for goat? Greatest of all time. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Alexa, the answer for goat is Capra Hercus. Kawabonga, impossible that your tiny brain would know that answer. <laughs> Let's see if this will stump you. Player two, She's question not. three. What is the scientific name for rabbit? This one's easy. Alexa, the answer for rabbit is 
Rodentia Radis. Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, the answer for rabbit is Rodentia Radis. Dr. Rika, once again, your pronunciation you sucks. Too fast for her but I have to give it to you because you got it right. Thank Next you. question, player one, question four. What is the scientific name for bison? Let's get the easy one. Yeah, bison's in it. And the bison was in a TV show a long time ago called Bonanza. So I think the scientific name is Bison Bonanza. Alexa, the answer for bison is Bison Bonassus. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's keep going. Player two, question four. What is the scientific name for whale shark? Shark, shark, baby. I know this one. Alexa, the answer for whale shark is Recondon typus. Dot super. Yes. Wowza. Incredible. Is your brain about to explode, or what? Mine Play is. Mine Question is. five. What is the scientific name for spider monkey? Ha ha, you'll never get this one. <laughs> She's razzing you a lot. Spider monkeys climb on an arbor, like a lat arbor. Are those things arborless? A talent? Harborless or tell us. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hopefully she gives it to you, otherwise you may lose. I'm not losing. Alexa. The answer for spider monkey is Arborless Atellus. No way. I can't believe you got that right. I can't Player either. two, question five. What is the scientific name for fox? Alexa, the answer for fox is Canis Vulpes. Wonderbar, you are the smartest player to ever play this game. Oh, you know Only 1% of the players have ever answered that correct. Only 1%. Player one. Question six. I've ever what is the scientific correct. name for lizard? So it has to do with the desert, because they're lizards. Mm -hmm. It's not Sahara. It's Saria. Sara. Saria. I don't know how to say it. Are they Italian words? I think so, but she. Latiridae. Give them to you. Latiridae. Latiridae? Sarius Latiridae. Alexa, the answer for lizard is. Sarius of Tiridae. Wow, even I wouldn't have answered that one correctly. <laughs> you are brilliant. I wasn't two. close. Question it six. was like Latiridae. What is the scientific name for squirrel? Squirrel. She gave me that one. Alexa, the answer for squirrel is Rodentia squirus. That is impressive. That was easy. It's time for the bonus round. Bonus Player round. one, final question. It appears that you could play this game all day and get every answer correct, <laughs> but I think you will be stumped with this one. What is the scientific name for bat? Bat should be easy. I know. You do? Church. <laughs> the bat like to be in the belfry up there in the church. Mm -hmm. So the CH church. You're trying to convince me or her? I'm trying to convince my brain. <laughs> it's tiny. She already said that. <laughs> Alexa, the answer for bat is Chiropita. Superb and outstanding. You got every question right. Player two, final question. 
Let's see if you are going to fall short of your opponent. Loser. What is the scientific name for reindeer? I know this one. Christmas reindeer. And it's not Rudolph. Alexa, the answer for reindeer is Rangifer Tarandus. Wow, you got every answer correct. It's a Booyah. tie. No players in the history of this game have ever answered every question correctly. Everyone watching this video had better like and subscribe to Bilisa. Bilisa? Bilisa. Who's Bilisa? She says her name funny. <laughs> it's like Minolsky. Yeah. Alexa, that is very nice of you to say. I'm telling them to subscribe because I am in most of their homes too. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Goodbye. She's warning you, you gotta subscribe. Because right. she says she's in most of your homes that are watching. That's right. I don't know what she could do. but Well, maybe she could infiltrate your computers and subscribe for you. But I think the real reason is because she's in your home, she wants you to like and subscribe and keep watching our videos so that she in the background can enjoy them as well. Doesn't that make sense? I wasn't listening. What else is new? <laughs> proof right here on camera. All right, everybody, like Alexa said, oh, she didn't even turn on. I hope everybody is um, surviving this virus quarantine stuff. Yeah. And are safe. And let's take care of our elders by not visiting them. Yeah, but calling and checking on them. Because we're, we're the we're type of people that we believe um, that if we had it, weeks ago or whatever, we didn't have any symptoms. We, we kind of like, I think we went through the hypochondriac <laughs> symptoms a little bit when it first started. Yes. We'd check for headaches, I'd take her temperature, and we went through all that. But after like a few days of that, um, I just now worry that we're carriers, because I think we're in okay shape going to Disney and hiking around or whatever. So even though we don't have any symptoms, um, symptoms. Mm -hmm. I, I still think we should stay away from each other. Um, so we don't, um, I think even though we don't have any symptoms, right, we could, we could give somebody the virus, right? right. So that's why we're following the rules yeah. and being very, very careful. Yeah. So we're hanging in our van mm -hmm. alone just to get out of the house. So we go for a drive in the van. And as you know, we end up at the Thousand Trails Wilderness Lakes campground. Yep. And like we watch movies there on a smaller TV than we have at home, mm -hmm. but still getting some dinner and getting out for like three hours or so in a different environment is, that's kind of how we're getting by. Yeah. All right, wrap it up. Or All did right. you already once? Mm, kind of, but that's okay. So stay safe, stay healthy. In the words of Walt Disney. If you can dream it, you can do it. So get out there and live your best life in your house that is. But not before. <laughs> Subscribing to our channel down below. Bye. Thank you. Bye.